Hey guys, welcome back to TLN. Today we are speaking to Joanna Bergen. She is the founder of Girls Mechanic Team, which is basically a group of girls that teach auto maintenance basics to anyone who is interested and anyone who really wants to learn. So first off, Joanna, can you talk to me a little bit about this idea? What inspired you to start this project? Well, what inspired me really is um, my passion for hands-on work and for cars. But it was truly like two different incidents that happened to me that truly sparked the idea of the girls mechanic team. The first one was when I first got my car, I had a complete flat tire, so I had to take it to my mechanic. And I was just watching him do the entire job. And I thought to myself, like, this is so easy. If I had the tools, I could have easily done this. And I paid probably around 65 to 70 dollars for it. And then the second incident, which was ha- happened a few months after, and um, I was trying to find an internship and I couldn't get one for the summer. So a friend of mine was was asking me, you know, what's your passion? What is it that you truly love doing? And that's when I went home and the whole idea of the Girls Mechanic team came to mind. And ever since then, I've just been running workshops every summer and it's been awesome. Now you mentioned the mechanic situation and I feel like women oftentimes are taken advantage of when they bring their car to the shop because they don't know what's happening. And sometimes, unfortunately, mechanics will charge more or or make up a certain problem in the car and it's not unheard of for that to happen. Is that something that you address in the workshops and something that you maybe teach women to be a little bit smarter when they're bringing their cars to a shop? Of course. So besides teaching them all the basics, which helps them feel more confident to go into a mechanic and know exactly what the mechanic is talking about, We also have a session at the end where each person kind of talks about their own experiences of um, what dashboard lights popped up on their car, what what did they do, how to find an honest mechanic, and to know the law here and know that you you cannot be overcharged after a specific certain percentage. So all these little details can help you so much in, in terms of saving money and knowing exactly what's being done on your car. And what's the current reach of the workshops? I mean, obviously the pandemic put a little bit of a pause on this, but what before all of this started, like how many cities were you reaching? How many people were you talking to? And what's the typical audience? Is it all women or, or can anyone join? So first to start with the first question is we started running our workshops in Vaughan. Um, however, we partnered with the Financial College in London and Niagara College in Niagara Falls, and we were able to run workshops over there to promote their apprenticeship programs, um, to get more women involved in their apprenticeship programs. And our workshops are for anybody that is starting to drive or have had a car for a long time. Our workshops are also gender inclusive, but on social media, we do kind of focus on getting women more empowered and educated because there aren't many opportunities around here for that. And um, it's been really great so far. We usually have around We max it at 15 people per workshop because we do want people to get hands-on experience on what we do. So we split usually the workshop, the people, the attendees in half, and we get everybody involved hands-on with with every single aspect that we teach throughout the workshop. And walk us through a typical workshop. What usually is taught to these different groups? Yeah, so we start all the way from basic. So what's a VIN number? Um, Where's the tire pressure sticker? What are recalls? And then we go to how to open up the hood. If you have an issue with that, we make sure we cover it. I let attendees bring their own cars, which is awesome, so they can get to do this stuff on their own vehicles. And then we um, look at all the fluids under the car, how to top them off, how to know um, where they're all located, how to check for your oil levels. And then we do a full tire change um, in case you get a flat one on the highway, how to put a spare tire on. And then we go all the way in depth to um, doing a full on oil change. Not everyone's interested in that, but just to know the process is very helpful. And a lot of them end up realizing how easy it is to actually get it done. And lastly, we do windshield wipers um, changes. And is this still happening today? Are you doing it virtually? Are you doing Zoom workshops? Or right now, are you mostly dedicated to the social media side of Girls Mechanic Team? Yeah, so with COVID, unfortunately, we couldn't do any of the hands-on workshops and in-person, but we have transitioned a lot of what we teach on our YouTube channel, um, at Girls Mechanic Team, and as well as our Instagram. I'm also trying to find products that are very beneficial for people, like the OBD scanner and a lot more exciting things to come so they can help people get to know what's wrong with their car from home and on a much cheaper scale. And it's worth noting that the car industry is very heavily male dominated. And that is, of course, part of why this is so important. Have you found that 
it's more of a challenge having a company called Girls Mechanic Team. Is there a bit of a stigma attached to it? Of course. So the whole the whole industry is very male dominated. So for me as a female to be starting such an initiative, um, of course, I have had a lot of people not believe in what I do and, and not think that what I'm doing is um, beneficial. But after some time and after they saw what I actually teach and the feedback of people, some people start to realize how important this is. And, and I'll, get, I'll get some comments here and there. Um, actually, one person told me, this is after the second year of Grand GMT, he was like, you know, the only reason the girls mechanic team is, is doing well is because you're a pretty female. And it's just comments like that that keep putting me down. And when I'm also picking up uh, some tools at the shop, I get a lot of like looks or people would laugh or like the reaction is just not something that um, they would do if I said I was doing something else. And what people don't understand really is like what makes you good at something is not your gender, but the skill set that you acquire. And it's so important for, pe for people to really like listen to that sentence there because anyone can do what any mechanic can do if you have the right tools, if you've been trained properly, um, being female or male or any gender, it does not matter. So you just have to have the confidence and I most of the time just ignore people because I know what I'm doing is beneficial, benefiting other people. And it's important to highlight that you are an engineer. You did recently graduate. So you do obviously have the qualifications to be running workshops like this. What is next for you? What is something, where do you want to see this project grow in the next few years? So um, I'll be actually graduating as a mechanical engineer in April. So I have the qualification to teach the basics. Um, hopefully in the future, I am hoping to get the girls mechanic team more accessible to people, whether it's building an application so anybody get, can get access to my workshops and just sort of expanding this all over the GTA. I would love to collaborate with other companies and sort of get more helpful products out to people and change the entire service, maybe the way things are run to make it more transparent and educational for customers. Amazing. Thank you so much, Joanna, for joining us. Thank you for having me. This was great.